game day finger food, as they say, sits out. Uh, Martin O'Donnell from the 12 Hotel in Barna, County Galway, joins us. Uh, Martin, you're very welcome. Hi, tailgating, very tailgating, Morning, tailgating. that's what they call it before the American football matches. They have the big barbecues and they get it's all huge. the grub out. So yeah. you've got some <laughs> chicken wings for us to start off. With. I have. I've got some lovely glazed chicken wings and some chili con carne. So to start off, uh, we're going to start the chili and we'll come back to it later and right. we'll do the wings first. Okay. So to start off with the chili, we have some diced shallot or onion, whichever you want to call it. The, for me, the shallot is a bit sweeter. Gives you a bit more. Yeah. So this is really sweetness. a classic dish. It's chili con carne, but it's also great because you can use it as a base for lasagna, you can use it as a base for enchiladas. It's kind of like a standard recipe. So if you're you going to do chili, nachos. Don't add it in. I'm doing nachos. So. so it's a kind of a dip. So it's a dip. Well, it's going on top with some uh, sour cream and coriander. Um, Very good. The nachos I brought along today is a new Irish company. It's Blanco Nino. It's a superb Irish guy that went over to Mexico, researched and developed They're a proper a recipe. nachos. They're gluten-free, they're natural, and they actually taste amazing. So even uh, a lot of the Mexican... Uh, All their nachos are available. <laughs> <laughs> Packet ones we'll are available. Yeah. Huh? We'll get hammered for that. Um, so you're popping in the mince. Is that olive oil or do you have rapeseed oil? There's a little bit of rapeseed oil in here. The shallots, the garlic, and now the mince. So we're just going to brown it off. Yeah. Uh, into the pot. Is this... Uh, we're talking chilli as in, like, you'd have... Chili con carne. carne with, with rice. So this is this can be a, a dinner as well. It or? can be, and it can be used for so many ways. Even with pasta, or anything you yeah. could um, you could also use it as a pasta dish. So it's just a lovely slow braise. Just going to pop in a bay leaf, and then with the chicken wings, they take about 12 to 13 minutes to cook. So okay. we're right. just going to pop them down. Now, and we're first make thing I'll sauce. say is you are deep frying them. Yeah. yeah. We have a chicken wing before in the show, and people tend to use the oven. Explain. Explain yourself. For me, I think the chicken wings. Number one, they're quicker. So it's right. much quicker to cook them. I feel if people uh, get involved with long processes, they won't try it at home. So what I really want to emphasize is it's so easy to do. It's literally put the chicken wings in the oil, 12 minutes, can set a timer. But if you don't go. have a deep fat yeah. fryer, you can do them in the oven at you, what, 40 minutes, 180? Yeah, about that. So okay. again, I was hoping that people would be trying the recipes. It's so easy. So for me, the fryer is easy. They stay more and well moister. Well worth investing, isn't it? Well, yeah. Do you have one of them? No, we don't. No, My either. wife wouldn't let one into the house. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> yeah, really yeah. using it, yeah. No, I don't. It's just so I don't want to smell of the oil all the time. Okay. Yeah, but, but you don't use them all the time, so... Well, it we might. That's the problem. <laughs> Imagine how tasty everything is. So, mm. when they come back fryer. out, they're lovely and crispy. They're still juicy inside. The bones are just there as well. So, what I'm going to do is a lovely maple glaze. Again, this, you can use it for anything. So, I've just popped some butter in here okay. into a pot. We're warming it up. A little bit of Cajun seasoning. Recipes are on the website. So we just toast off the Cajun seasoning, some smoked paprika. So this is for the chicken wings. It's going to give this them is the a lovely glaze for the chicken right. wings with the butter. Butter gives it that lovely shiny, sticky glaze. That's lovely. all good for you. Uh, this if you're one... chicken wings at two o'clock in the morning, you're not concerned about how healthy <laughs> they are anyway. That's so. very true. <laughs> this is a barbecue sauce. Any kind of barbecue it can be the cheapest, most expensive. Yeah. It doesn't really matter because we're fl flavoured it with all the nice uh, sweet chilli sauce. So lovely. barbecue sauce in, sweet chilli oh, in the goes as well. This is going to be lovely, sticky. Sweet, yep. sticky, icky. A little bit of herb de Provence. How long did you say the Super Bowl takes? Three, three hours. And Plus, actually, no, sorry, because the halftime show is longer than normally. So it could be... Five hours? Four and a half? Three and a half, four hours. So I presume that's why the history and tradition of having all the family and friends over for a big feed... Yeah, well, like in America, it. so it'll uh, it starts there, maybe Eastern time, I don't know, six o'clock or, or whatever. Yeah. Like, And yeah, they have big parties and, you know, yeah. it's, you host a Super Bowl party. Little tablespoon of whole grain mustard. And some honey. maple syrup or honey? Honey and maple syrup mix. So it's about ah. a tablespoon of each. But the one thing I would say is when you're making it, before you throw it on the wings, is to taste it. Nothing worse than throwing it on the wings yeah. and then go, oh, that wasn't nice. Or yeah. the chilli, oh, that wasn't nice. The most important thing is to taste it here and then go, oh, that's really lovely. Maybe a little bit more honey, maybe a bit more yeah. chilli, whichever way people want it. And then sure. you can use it all the time. Again, you could whip this in towards mayonnaise, it'll be a lovely mayonnaise dip. Uh, oh, afterwards, it'll go yeah. for a few days in the fridge. That's what I was going to ask you. I presume you can't freeze it, but you can put it in the fridge for three to five days. You can put it in the fridge for three, four to five days. You could use it even with just plain nachos if you Why didn't want to freeze it. What? You Why? could freeze it. Yeah. Little takeaway tubs like this, they're great. Just we'll pop right them in the freezer. Freeze. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so the wings come along. With the beef, it's getting nicely browned. We're going to add in the tomato puree. Yeah. So again, lovely. Tomato flavour, give it a deep, rich colour. Have you seasoned that yet, which is the pepper pepper thing now? Not yet. You don't need we'll to. We'll come back to that one at the end. Okay. So we have our puree in. Again, we'll just give that one a cook for a second. You can see the glaze here is coming up to the boil. Really lovely as well. So, our wings. Smells delicious. Oh, I do yeah. love finger food like this. Oh, it's great. You can just yeah, nibble yeah. on it right in the afternoon. 
criminal for these. Like. So as you can see, the wings are lovely and crispy. If you're not sure if they're cooked, you could just break them with a knife and a fork. See that the meat is nice and white inside. Yeah. Perfect to go. It's very hard to have portion control when you have this kind of thing. <laughs> <isn't it? You're laughs> Chicken like, wings are just everyone's yeah. favorite, no? Very Moorish. What we do is shake off the oil into a bowl. Lovely. Take our sauce into the bowl. Not that much. And just mix them around. Give it a bit of a mix. Just toss them off. Lovely. So when we come back now in the next segment, you're going to be finishing off the chilli dish. Yeah, we'll yeah. just finish it off very quickly. We're going to add in our chopped tomatoes. And we're going to let this stew for about 35, 45 minutes. Okay. We'll herbs and we'll season it after the break. Right. Just I've ne never made it to the end of a Super Bowl. I've always fallen asleep a middle of it. I think a belly full of chicken wings and chilli. <laughs> Not going to help because. Oh, these are ready to go. These Lovely. are really brilliant. Oh, yeah, yeah. Delicious. And would you have, a, would you have a, a dip with that now, or is it just... For me, is I wouldn't. I no. think it's... Now, you could finish it any ways you want. You could put extra chopped chilli on top, you can put fresh coriander, you can put toasted sesame seeds, you can put maybe Lovely. mixed nuts. Here, he's not that hungry. What I've brought along. Right. That's plenty for him. Lovely Thanks, Martin. We'll be back to you later on right. for more. Thank you.